Good morning and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Karen Lutz, CEO, founder, and spiritual and transformational mindset life coach at On The Go Talent. And you could find me at onthegotalent.com or karenlutz.com, C-A-R-Y-N-L-U-T-Z. I hope you're all having a beautiful morning. Hi everyone, happy Saturday. This is July 17th, 2021, and thank you if you are just joining me. Today I wanted to talk about my experience at Keystone Job Corps Center, and that's located in Drums, Pennsylvania. So I worked at Job Corps from June 10th, me and the dates again, June 10th of 2008 till I believe June 28th of 2013. So in previous episodes, I was speaking about my transitions and some of my my placements and what caused me to move different places. So back then in 2008, I had just finished up a permanent substitution job for the Hazleton Area School District, and I could talk about that in another episode. So um, Keystone Job Corps Center, if you are unfamiliar with Job Corps Centers, uh, their year round programs, basically ages 16 to 24, a lot of my students were from Philly, Baltimore, DC. And this was a wonderful program that fed, clothed, um, educated and sheltered these students and it was kind of like a rolling out program so I had a lot of different students at a lot of different times there was a new group of students that came in weekly so my first position um, was a substitute I started out a lot of my positions as a substitute teacher um, and I was a substitute in the academic area and then um, when the the students first arrived I ended up Um, in that department first and then ended up getting hired uh, for career transition and if you're just tuning in I see you and I'm so glad that you're tuning in and I wanted to talk about this because this is how I met so many wonderful people that I'm still friends with today so good morning and I love you okay so career ready transition specialist yes that's uh, a lot to say So I love that position Um, and that position was basically, um, I had a new group every week or two and I'd bring them in, we'd go over their resumes, job search, and I would conduct live interviews, live group interviews. And I had a lot of fun with that because I would just put my students on the spot and let them you know, know that they have to think quickly on their feet. So that was really fun, but Uh, As you'll see further down in my story with this, there was a union shift and a couple months later, they had to switch things around and then I had to apply for another position. So with that being said, I was hired as the business office technology instructor and I actually taught keyboarding. So I'm glad and if uh, Patricia Boconet is watching, she taught me how to keyboard back in um, junior high school. So thank God that skill set came into play when I worked at Job Corps. Um, And that was a lot of fun. I made a lot of friends in that department. Our building was really chill. There was um, some nursing students in the building as well as career transition. And if anybody else is watching, hello, hello. And then let's see what else. So I want to talk about some events too. So um, one of the other administrators and I would love to bring a touch of music to the campus. So a lot of times during the students' lunch um, hour, we would go and uh, perform. I remember, oh my goodness. So let's see, we would celebrate Black History Month because a lot of our population, like I said, was from DC, Maryland. Um, and. Uh, during those celebrations, I remember singing Proud Mary, and if you'd watch any of the videos, I have that posted. Um, I think it was one of the painting students. Ended up uh, doing the Proud Mary, Tina Turner with me, uh, and doing like a split right in the middle of the lunch hour. So I have to retrieve that video, but that was a lot of fun. Um, 
what else was fun? So the, we had a recreational program as well, and they did a lot of uh, energetic, fun activities with the students. So I participated in that as well. We had a lot of staff participation. I remember one summer um, we were given beats in our department and we had to come up, like each class had to come up with a scenario and come up with a performance. And I remember I rapped. <laughs> so maybe that's why Joe and I are truly bound together um, by, by the rap um, because that's just where, you know, we shine. And that's where I shined um, as a teacher, I believe, there. And it impacted, hopefully, a lot of my students' lives and gave them a lot of courage and enthusiasm while I was there. So um, staff Christmas parties were also a big hit. And let's see. Oh, yeah, did I win that? <laughs> Somebody said I might have. Yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, I would also sing the national anthem. There was a graduation monthly, and that was that was very very special to see those kids transition um you know from i'm going to be quite honest some had no home and would that was their their second chance in life you know and i'm reading your comments too so thanks if you're tuning in chime in um this is what i love to do and this is my why and this is why i've been talking about this because this is the truth and I want to share that and and maybe I'll trigger good memories for other people and this is why I really enjoy having these live conversations so if you're just tuning in hi I'm Karen Lutz and welcome uh, let's see so I get to write my notes in the sand which is pretty cool as you could see uh, I wanted to talk about um, let's see the video too um, before I left, I mentioned in another episode, there was a huge layoff and I chose to move on to the next phase of my life. And then that brought me to Maryland. But before that happened, I wrote a parody. So if they have a chance. <laughs> so if you remember, um, I forget who wrote that song, Johnny, I forget. Um, it was the song from the 80s. I want to say that was by Johnny Paycheck, if I remember correctly, but the song was Take This Job and Shove It. <laughs> and I wrote a parody and I wrote it to They Took My Job and Cut It. And I talked about all Job Corps and that was when I got to be really creative. And if you're just tuning in, hi and thank you so much for watching. Talking about my experience at Keystone Job Corps Center for five years. So, um, before I left, I remember taking time and making CDs for all of the staff. It took me hours, but um, what I did was I, I compiled a whole bunch of pictures, you know, the students and the staff, and I really tried to personalize my goodbye, um, you know, and my farewell at Job Corps. I was able to um, post a video at the end um, and that's actually on YouTube as well. And I remember writing personalized letters to several of the staff, and I hope any of the staff who have those letters um, cherish them, because it took a lot of time for me to do that. So I, I wrote the personalized letters, and I gave every one of those a CD. And it had several songs that had meaning between me and the staff member, and of course the parody was on there as well. Um, a lot of my students and I are still in touch. A lot have businesses. Um, it's really uh, fulfilling to see what those students are doing now. But sadly, you know, we've lost three students. I remember um, hearing sadly and sad, tragically. Um, how they lost their lives as well. So if they're watching from above, just know that we're thinking about you today. Um, what else about Job Corps? Um, it was a transitional time in my life as well. I was trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to do. And in that time, I was able to teach. I was a professor at Cedar Crest College, and I could talk about that in another episode as well. But a lot of um, my friends were at the wedding as well and it was just um, 
a unique experience. Uh, it takes special people to work there. And I'm very grateful for my experience. So as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm gonna close in prayer and show you the beautiful beach. Dear God, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity today on this beautiful day to show your people a little bit about my life and my truth and my purpose and my path and everything that you've brought to my life. And I encourage anyone who is watching, who is suffering, who is depressed, who is questioning their life and their career, reach out, reach out to me. I'm here to listen and here to have a discovery call with you. It's always an option. Bless everyone watching today and let them have a wonderful Saturday. Thank you so much and God bless.